Hey guys, welcome to day one of your 100 day journey. And today we're going to learn about printing, commenting, debugging, string manipulation and variables. So it's chock-a-block full of really fun stuff. And by the end of today, you will have created a band name generator program. So you can also head over to this web address, band-name-generator-end.appery.repl.run. Alternatively, if you didn't want to type that whole line of URL in, you could also go to the previous lesson where I showed you where the course resources are. And we've got links to all of these resources where you can just click on it and head over there straight away. So this is the final project of today. And the idea is that let's say that your friend was starting a new band, a rock band or a classical band, and they're struggling to come up with a good name. So you come into the rescue and send them your band name generator program. So it asks you for the name of the city that you grew up in. So mine was Bristol in um, the southwest of the UK. And then it'll ask you what's the name of your pet. I had a pet rabbit when I was younger and I am probably um, the least imaginative person, um, classic programmer personality. Um, so I called my rabbit um, rabbit. <laughs> so now when I hit enter, it's going to give me my band name and it could be um, Bristol Rabbit. So that sounds pretty cool. It could be like a, a rock band. So this is what you're going to make. And in the process, in order to create this, you're going to learn about printing, inputting, commenting, debugging, name errors, syntax errors, string manipulation, variables, and a whole lot more. So if you feel like you can already achieve this and you can prove it by making this program yourself, then feel free to skip to the next day's lessons. But for most of you, even if you've started learning Python programming, there's probably still a lot of new things that you'll find in today's lessons. So once you're ready, head over to the next lesson and let's get started and get coding straight away.